Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a charity shop haul. So today um, I went into sort of like the over, I suppose the overfill of a charity shop. So it was like the charity shop is just on one floor, but then on the next floor up they have like overstocks. So um, I managed to get in there, which was awesome. Um, and I did a little bit of picking in there. Um, got a great Nerf score, really big haul of Nerf guns. And I got some other general tat bits and bobs. It was really cool because it was like an American picker style pick. Um, I was rooting through boxes, moving things around, climbing over stuff. It was great. It's really what I like. Um, and it was a great way to spend my Saturday morning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through it. I've also mixed in a few items from yesterday because yesterday I actually found out that we have, yes, another charity shop. That's two charity shops in my local village now. So literally a stone's throw away, from, well not a stone's throw away literally, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, a very, very short walk away. I've got two charity shops now, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and it means that on the days I've not got the car or anything like that and I maybe need a few items or maybe I just want to wander up to the charity shops then I can do that so that's great um, so yeah I will so it's like basically this new one's really cool because they're helping like the Syrian refuge refugees and um, it's sort they've got like a sort of offshoot of a shop so basically the majority of the donations that come in go off to Syria, like all the clothing and that. Um, but then the other stuff, like the media and things like that, that they're not really going to send off there, um, they end up selling to then just get extra donations, basically, fun extra funding. Um, so yeah, I went in there, got a few bits and bobs. Um, I'll show you a couple of those, but the other bits and bobs that I got are already listed, believe it or not, again... I'm being very efficient and anything that comes in is getting listed within a couple of days now. So really, really happy with that and how it's going. Um, but yeah, I got Abe's Exodus, which is actually downstairs, PS1 game, black label for a quid. So I was really happy with that because that's like 10 to 15. Um, you know, not mega money, but it's it's cool to find it for a quid in a charity shop because... I find, like, I don't find that many PS1 titles in charity shops, like, awesome PS1 titles, um, or even, like, half-decent uh, PS1 titles. Obviously, there's a lot of PS2, uh, PS, uh, PS3, PC, all that sort of stuff, but I don't really find that many PS1, so... Yeah, anyway, that was cool to find. Anyway, I'll get on with the haul now. So, picked up this ink from the new charity shop again, um... 301 Black, it actually expires in like two months, March 2017. I don't know what I can get for that, to be fair. I've, I've sold a lot of expired ink, but believe it or not, I don't think I've ever sold any in-date ink. So, I don't know prices. that I would know if it was like expired, but I, I imagine I'd, I'd add a few quid on. Um, I don't know, something like a tenner maybe. It's going to be around a tenner. Um, if it isn't a tenner, because I don't list anything that's under a tenner anymore, what I'll do is bundle it up with another ink. And if it becomes expired, then that's fine, because I can still sell it as expired. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I got, again, from a new charity shop, Lego Atlantis uh, Treasure. Not checked this yet, but for a quid, I mean, I could see plenty of the parts were in there, so... Yeah, I was gonna go. I was gonna take a chance on that. Um, right, so that's a new charity shop. I also got from the new charity shop this Panasonic cassette player. I don't know. I just picked it up. Might be something. Um, so that's that. Um, today, I got from the charity shops. Um, I got this Walt Disney World bag. It's really cool. Um, like a more like a rucksack thing. Uh, Walt Disney World, and it's all official, and, you know, all, don't know if you can see that, no, oh, it's not going to focus, you can sort of see it, it's official anyway, um, and where's the tag, where's the tag, here, I paid 4 .50 for that, so I was happy with that, because I've just looked online, none are on that I can see, some have sold, um, 
over like internationally like on um, I think on ebay.com um, so yeah and they've sold for sort of like £10 plus a ridiculous shipping cost um, so I'm thinking sort of £25 plus postage on that maybe £29.99 plus postage but still nice little item there um, I like picking up this sort of like unusual Walt Disney stuff um, right then where should I go next um, I suppose we'll go in this little tub here Right, one sec. Oh god, I can't get this open now. Right, there we go. Right, this next lot you're about to see cost me a tenner. Um, I don't really know whether I've done right or wrong on a lot of this stuff. I've just taken a chance. Um, so I've got this like brandy ladle thing. Something tells me that this would be over a fire or something and you'd put your brandy in there and then you'd heat it up um, really I think that's the only use you could have with it other than like doing that I don't know but yeah I think it's copper and brass I think anyway um, but yeah brandy there so that's pretty cool so that was included you know in the tenor for this sims base game um, I think I just sold one of these for like six quid um, but I'm going to bundle bundle that up probably to make it over a tenner so that I'm not listing it uh, for under a tenner. I got an official, I got an official uh, Walt Disney mug. Sorry, that was just a message there. That's why I was looking at the phone. Um, so yeah, Walt Disney mug. I mean, it's just one of the 2D ones. You're probably looking to, lucky to get a tenner out of these nowadays. Um, but yeah, I can always bundle it with something else, you know, another mug and maybe get £15 or two. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I've got a couple of these because I don't see these often. These are TDK mini discs, new and sealed. I don't know whether there's any value in them. But there will be if you've got like a bigger stack, but I don't know whether like just two of them like that are going to have much value. Um, but I just threw them in on the deal. So yeah, anyway, that's that. And then for one thing I've... I feel a bit more confident about in the deal is this camping gas gas anyway I don't like that I don't like that gas spelt with a Z it just annoys me um, it was really nice you know a little carry tub thing um, 15 litre or something it says that um, but yeah I think there's some good money in this I don't know currently but I'm gonna put a price up there um, and I think, if I am right, I think this will probably get my tenor back. Um, and then the rest of that, you know, if I get money for it, I get money for it. Um, but yeah, so I just took a chance on that lot, really. I wasn't too fussed over a tenor, you know. Took a chance on that. I was I was doing my picking, and I thought, yeah, that's cool. I'll have that. So, that was that lot. And then, the big Nerf haul, I will show you now. So... This big Nerf haul cost me 40 quid all in. So we've got the Nitron, vo Vortex Nitron, Nerf Vortex Nitron. Unfortunately, it's not got any discs to test, um, which is a bit of a bummer. I don't think I saw any discs anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking probably, I'd hope to get sort of £20 plus postage on this. I really thought some of these guns that I'm about to show you when I was doing my research... I really thought there'd be a lot more money, but they're actually not. They're not as much as I first thought. Um, but yeah, this one probably like £20 plus postage. I could maybe squeeze a bit more out of it. Oh, actually, I might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of it because... If I go in here... Um, that... It's come with that scope as well, so I don't know. And I've just realised, I thought that was too little. This was also included in the tenor. I thought that, I was looking at that pile and I thought, I really paid a tenor just for that. But anyway, no, this was in the tenor deal, which is a suit carrier thing. Um, Harvey Nichols. Uh, Harvey Nichols. So it's a recognised name, you know, I know that name, so I'm sure other people will. Um, these are okay. Um, I've had them a couple of times. Most of them are like 10 to £15. 
not amazing, um, but certainly just a nice bread and butter item. I don't know upon this, uh, uh, on this one exactly because it's Har Harvey Nichols. I'd have to research it, you know, and, and see what the Harvey Nichols ones are going for. But, you know, your Ted Baker, things like that. I've, I've uh, had one of them in the past and uh, they seem to go for sort of like 12, 13 quid. So not amazing, but, you know, I just had to pick that one up. Um, and then also, finally, including the tenor, I really should have been a lot more organised. Um, but yeah, I thought, I, I was thinking then, I was looking at that pile and I thought, there's no way I paid a tenner just for that. Um, I got a big bag of Duplo. Um, uh, this like, random Bob the Builder one, it's all Lego Duplo. Um, just a load of Bob the Builder stuff really. Um, oh. I've got something for a Nerf gun in there, so that needs to go on the other pile. Um, some standard bricks, you know, you know, there's a big bag of it, really. I'll just lock it up on there. I'll just, I'll just lock all that up. Right, there we go. Now I'm happier. That was all a tenner. Then we're going to get back to the Nerf stuff. So, as I said, that was in the 40 quid job lot, it's just a random uh, thing. I might sell sell that with a bundle of um, attachments and things like that. Um, in here, in here, I've got a few that are like, not duds, but I can't test or that like are damaged in some way. Now I think there's meant to be something on there, on the top of there that you cock it with, so um, yeah, this is the Magnus. This is the uh, Nerf Mega Mag uh, Magnus. It's not a lot of money anyway. It's like eight, eight, ten, maybe twelve. It, it's probably worth bundling up, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna bundle that up in a spares and repairs job lot. Um, that is just another attachment that I'm just gonna bundle up. That is an ammo belt thing or ammo thing. I don't know ammo thing that I'm gonna bundle up. Um, and, and then there's just a ton, a ton of bullets, and then a broken clip, well, it's not broken, it does actually work, but it's got that, like, uh, tape around it, um, and there's another clip, there's another couple of clips in there, and then there's just a ton of bullets in there, loads of them, probably, I don't know, bloody... 30 or 40 bullets. Um, so that's that anyway. What I'm going to do with most of that stuff, I'm going to put the bullets with the guns and I'm going to put the clips with the guns and then all the other like attachments I'm going to bundle up that, that are not needed. Um, and then what I'm going to do is the spares and repairs bits and bobs, I'm going to bundle those up. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be a bit of money back. I don't know, 20, 10, 20 quid or something on those bundles, maybe a little bit more. Um, but between this and those, and my next item, I should get my money back on the bundle. Um, so this daddy is, whoa, is the long, long shot, long shot CS6. It's got its scope on it. I think it can, I think a, um, oh, what's it? A stand can be attached, um, but yeah, and then this thing goes back in two, like so, if I can even do this very well, but if I push that in, that thing like can go a bit back and a bit forward, um, yeah, I thought this was worth a lot more than it was, I was pretty, oh, I was, oh, what's the word, I was pretty disappointed, you know, when I found out that this is worth like 30 quid. Like 30 quid plus postage a lot of people are getting on this, so yeah, a bit disappointed because it's obviously going to take a bit of time to wrap and stuff, um, but still, it's 30 quid, so between those, between all the spares and repairs, that uh, Vortex Nitron and this, I'll, I'll get my money back. Um, and then the rest of this, what I'm, I'm going to show you is all profit. So, I was looking at this, thinking... What the hell is this? How the hell do you do anything? There's no, 
which way up does it go? There's no trigger or anything. What the hell's happened? And then I press this button. And then it's like, whoa, that's cool. And then you can do that and go. Unfortunately, this isn't worth that much. It's sort of like best part of 15 quid. You might get a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and that's obviously with the clip and maybe a few bullets as well. You're looking to get about 15. Um, so not amazing, but some money, money back on the job lot anyway. So And that'll probably be pure profit after fees and postage. I got a strife, but oh no, that's the spares or repairs as well. That'll go in a spares or repairs job lot, sorry. So yeah, it's, it's all wrote on and everything, that one. Um, but yeah, that's fine. That'll go in spares or repairs. I got this uh, barrel break uh, 4 2, 4 in Roman numerals there. Um, and this is quite cool. You push that up to load it just in case you ever get one of these and you don't know how to load it because I didn't um, and then you pull that in and go bang um, and this goes to sort of £10 plus postage so sort of 13 quid. can't complain there, quite cool um, although this one, it doesn't seem to me I was loading it and then putting it back in and when I was firing it, it didn't seem to go very far so I don't know whether the sort of mechanism on this one is, you know, sort of a little bit worse for wear. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, that one's all right. Um, what else? The strong arm. Now that's worth bundling up, really. But I don't think have I got anything to bundle it up with. No, I don't really think I've got anything to bundle that up with. But yeah, I'll, I'll need to get another gun and then bundle it up with that, and maybe do it do repair for fifteen quid, something like that. Um, I got two working Nerf stockades. Um, I don't know prices on these. I would imagine if I sign them individually, maybe a tenner each. But I'm thinking like bundle the two, and then like maybe two brothers can have a right war with each other or something. Um, and maybe ask sort of twenty quid the pair. Um, maybe twenty quid including postage. You know, maybe like. 16.99 plus postage or something um, But yeah, I might be slightly off with that so if I am I'll put prices up there, but yeah bit of money back from those um, And then I've got this uh, Nerf Rampage there is a clip for it, but it'll be in that bag um, and I could put that yellow stock with it, but I don't know because it's a blue gun, isn't it? But um, yeah, sort of looking about fifteen pound for this. If it had the drum, you know, the drum uh, edition, like the drum clip or magazine, um, it would probably be like twenty quid. But cause, since it's only got the little clip one, um, you know, not the drum one, uh, I'm looking at fifteen. So yeah, but it's still some money in that. And as I say, that was a strong arm. So. There's probably just over a hundred quid worth of nerf stuff there, so for forty quid, I couldn't really complain. Um, I might have been able to get it a little bit lower because um, he seemed to be quite happy with forty. So I always look at that. I always sort of when I'm doing a deal, I always look at how people react to the price I give because it then determines whether I think, well, I've get you know I've got it, I've got it too. I've sort of overpaid or I haven't overpaid based on their reaction so like maybe I could have got it for 30 because they were a little bit happy with 40 you know so I don't know maybe I could have got it for a little bit less but that's that um, and what else I think that's everything I mean I'm just gonna check on here um, oh I did get this the other day because I couldn't really resist I know it's a bit crap but you know um, giant Ludo there seemed to be one sold for like 15 quid, so I thought, yeah, I'll pick that up. Um, I did pay up for that a little bit, though. I paid 3.99. Um, but yeah, one had seemed to sell for sort of 15 quid, so I thought I will take that, but I really shouldn't. I really need to get out of the habit of buying this stuff. I know it's not the best margin. I know it's not um, sort of the things I should be picking up, really, but because I've got tons of board games anyway still. 
Um, but yeah, I just can't leave this stuff when I see these like vintage board games that I've you know that I've never seen before. I can't leave it. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I think I think if we can get forty fifteen pound plus postage, then you know it's a bit of a better margin and I can live with it. So anyway, um, but we'll try. I'll I'll try over the next few months to stop picking that stuff stuff up as much. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind if it was like Dennis Fisher or like a really, you know, hero quest or anything like that, but I need to stop picking up the lower value vintage ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that'll that'll do it for me. We're on 20 minutes. I might have to edit this down a little bit so it's not so long. Um, but yeah, so I will see you next one, guys. Don't forget to go down below and like my Facebook page if you would like to. And please do give it a thumbs up as well if you like the video. So I will see you very soon. And don't forget to put any questions or queries down below in the comments. So, see you very soon, guys.